what is going on everyone welcome 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 to a very special edition of a uh, well a first look basically uh decided to shoot a short little video uh kind of showcasing uh my basically my solo no man's land uh i've been building this one now from scratch uh i know it shows that i had quite a bit of money there in the bank so not technically technically from scratch but uh, I've cleared all the rocks and stones, and I've cleared all the trees. Uh, so basically, I have, um, this is my second No Man's Land. I have a very large farm on, on another No Man's Land that I use as a multiplayer map. And then I have this one here, which is solo so far. Uh, I haven't really farmed it. I haven't uh, streamed it. I haven't done anything live with it. I haven't um barely got it off the ground really uh i have about 20 hours or so on this map um seven fields going eight fields actually one field dedicated to um yeah, small things uh at the moment i have about 300 250 trees or 300 ish something like that uh saplings planted on there and uh, yeah, mostly everything is already planted and just kind of ready for me to go live, but I've been passing the time to uh, get the saplings a little bit larger. And the only way to do that is to, well, sow them and make the time go really, really fast. Uh, so I'm just going to take you on a quick little, I say a quick little stroll, but kind of a quick little tour here. I'm just going to hop into my um, NMC Skorok 1500 here. Beast of a vehicle so like I said everything that's uh, being shown now is basically just placeables or uh, oxygen David has seen it fit to put down really awesome textures on uh, the landscaping mode so I'm just gonna kind of zoom out here real quick uh, I'm going to take you over to the east fields that I have going on here. I do have one field that still needs to be ripped. Um, I haven't ripped it completely because I'm not quite sure if I want it at the moment. But uh, got these nice sized puppies going on here. The idea behind this map, um, on this solo map for myself, is to have a uh, kind of a medium sized farm. So nothing too super duper crazy so there we have that field that has been kind of outlined but hasn't quite been ripped yet um i do have these fields sown and basically ready for me to farm uh, but as i stated before i'm just waiting on those saplings to get a little bit larger i have wheat and wheat here if i'm not mistaken i really love this truck here a 3.5 liter V6. Cannot go wrong with this bad boy right here. So I put in all these fields. I put in these roads. All the trees that you see on here are done by moi. Have been placed by yours truly. Just going to kind of go off the beaten path here. Drive through here. Uh, got a little cornfield here. Going, oh man, you can actually see my trees already in the distance. That is great, great, great news. So the first little stop over here, I have the, uh, what I usually call my industrial area. I kind of do this on, um, or I started doing this on a majority of my maps that I started building custom. Uh, the garage, the wash shed, I guess you can call it, uh, my fertilizer and my seed placeables and also the gas station right there man cannot run out of gas i know there's usually a gas station on the map but um i usually rock my own gas station anyway man like i said these wow these trees really popped that's pretty awesome they're supposed to be i i know i put a little bit of a path here in the middle hopefully this will be workable once i <laughs> hopefully i'll be able to move a uh a harvester through here uh, let's see here got some equipment shed set up over here this is the old uh, FS 17 uh, converted vehicle shed I really really like that one uh, I will be working I will have animals on this map animals uh, I plan on doing sheep so I have two 
they're more small than they are large grass fields, but I'm figuring I can double cut them or double swath. Uh, so here is one. Hope I'm not making people nauseous with the camera. And then we'll head on over to the other grass field here. Got a windmill that's making a little bit of money for myself. A BGA, an extra storage tank, because I like the silo. And I do have a bunker there, the new U-shaped bunkers. And here's the other grass field. See if we can zoom out and get a better perspective of this field. Again, not very large, but I'm I'm hoping that if I double swath it, I'll be able to get at least, you know, maybe a quarter million to 300,000, 250 to 300K liters off of here of grass. Let's hope, hope, hope. And then back here, basically, I have a cornfield also drilled. And this is going to be silage as well, or going to be chaff. Um, and I was actually trying out a new drill from the Cavernland DLC. Um, and I just happened to test out uh, a corn planter. So that's what I ended up testing it on there. So it didn't, it wasn't necessarily supposed to be corn from the start, but it ended up being corn. Over down yonder, we got some shipping containers and some hazardous waste barrels and the industrial placeable. I really, really like that. That one there. Some uh, rundown equipment, some log piles. And then here, I, I always have a composite shed. And the idea behind the composite shed is um, I usually have a shed where I store my items where I don't use all the time. Auto load baler, my line wagon, which is actually quite dirty because I've already been using it, and uh, my forage harvester. That one's actually going to be getting used very, very soon. Some more placeable items over here, just some decoration, make it look good. Then I have the Mercury Farms silo, and believe it or not, basically all I have tractor wise on this map is a 6R my absolute favorite my 900 here the 930 I think she's rocking about 305 horses I think she's got about 280 and then I have the AFS Magnum the 250 and she is doing about 310 horses if I'm not mistaken um, not quite sure if I want to keep these tractors I think in comparison to how large my fields are, I probably could just knock them down a little bit, downgrade a bit, because I don't need all that power, but we'll see how it goes once I actually start working some of these fields. Uh, the, oh, almost forgot, the self-marketing mod. Love this one. And here we can sell uh, cotton. Here we can sell wool. I think we can sell cotton on this one, if I'm not mistaken. Wool, cotton, um, it doesn't really show. Wool, cotton, hay, and straw. I believe this one might take milk as well. Not quite sure. I don't sell a lot of milk, so I'm not 100% on that. And here I have my heating plant, because all those trees will have to get processed somewhere. And then I have a couple of cell points here, placeable cell points. Kind of keep everything close to home. Take a spin around the uh, roundabout again here. And then we'll have a few more equipment sheds here. Uh, still plenty of equipment that needs to be purchased, so that's why they are still quite bare. Got a loading wagon there. I got my drill there and my planter there so that's quite nice i like to group together all the equipment that uh kind of do the similar jobs i don't know if there's any folks out there um, that kind of think along the same way that i do as far as that goes so here are my animal pastures no animals in here yet atm but i do have enough Space, if I'm not mistaken, I have capacity for 500 sheep. So that's going to be nice. Quite a bit of wool coming off of here. I think it's going to be working quite well. Uh, 
with the amount of wool that I have coming, I do have the IT Runner Palette Autoloader. This mod here is absolutely amazing. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, make sure to do so. Especially if you work animals. Chickens, cows, or um, sheep. Yeah, had a brain dump there for a second. And then we have another converted FS19 shed. Got my truck here. Looks like the lights are on, but they're not. Uh, the Lizard Silo Cruiser, which is a new uh, tipper, newer tipper from Lizard. I haven't quite tested that one out yet, so I'm looking forward to doing that one on the map here. My Bratner, 45K, and then I have the Cramp uh, Kipper, which is a 39,000, if I'm not mistaken. And then the good old Case Cultivator. Let's go ahead and take a whip around here and then so like I said MF silo and oh lest I forget some more derelict equipment and the ever wonderful multi versatile multi-use Massey Ferguson 9407 there and the absolute this is a serious game changer the Missy B MTU 25 if I'm not mistaken that's what it is 25,000 liters in this bad boy right here. And uh, that's really going to help when taking care of all of these sheep. Really, really going to help. Let's go ahead and whip a U-turn here. Oh, didn't even need to. I'm lost on my own farm. Yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, turn her off here. Get her stopped up. So, I give you a little bit of a drone here, can drone over. So here we have the here we have the home, here we have my, my caravan, then I have a couple of vehicles and family members here. I got the Subaru out back there, and then I have the Prius at the same time. Got some patio stuff here set up on the back side. And then I wanted to put my house up on the hill just so I have a little bit of a view. I can see over my fields, got the BGA behind me. It's going to look nice. It's going to look nice. So there I have the equipment shed, some trees going on that way, wheat is about as far as the eye can see in that field that needs to be ripped off in the distance, corn field here, grass field here, tree farm, like I said there's about 250 trees here, uh, some rows have three right here, some rows have just two, there were three there, two and three, so uh, it's quite a few trees in here, it doesn't look it, but Trust me, there's definitely a bunch of trees. Took a while to put those in. My other grass field and my test plot, which, and well, ended up being a cornfield, but it was a test plot. And that is my medium farm, no man's land, special edition Germany G's tour. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you stayed all the way to the end. Uh, make sure you like, make sure you sub if you haven't already done so. Make sure you visit me over on my live streams on PlayStation and YouTube every Monday and Friday afternoon. And also, also, please make sure you follow me over on Instagram, only one underscore Germany G. Have a good one. Be safe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.